Oh my god, keeper! What the f Okay, maybe the word never is a slight over exaggeration. However, with this trick, I'm going to be showing you how to drastically reduce the amount of goals you concede, especially in situations like this. So what's actually happening here? Rewinding the clip we can see that the keeper slightly rushes out and then moves back into position. And rewinding the clip in slow motion we can see even clearer how the keeper moves out rushing the striker to take the shot and then goes back into position so he can make the save. And this is what this video is going to be about. It's going to be teaching you how to move the keeper with not only the Y button or the triangle button but also the analog stick where you can move him in a free form way. And demonstrating this in kickoff, you can see that I'm holding down on the right analog stick and that's leading to the goalkeeper moving in the direction of the analog stick. And this is how you freely move your goalkeeper in which he will completely follow the direction that you move your analog stick. As opposed to here where I'm holding down triangle and the goalkeeper is forced to lock onto the ball and come for the tackle in which he makes a great tackle on his teammate. Hopefully your goalkeeper doesn't deck your teammate but I think that's just a classic case of FIFA being FIFA. Friendly fire side, let's move on to some gameplay. In this clip you're going to see I'm going to make a slight movement to my goalkeeper's right and that's what allows him to catch the ball. And catching the ball means you've prevented the corner and even better it means you can start off a counter attack. But what direction do you move your goalkeeper in? Well here you can see they cut in so I knew they were going to try and finesse it into the far corner so I moved my goalkeeper in preparation for the far corner. In situations like this where you're in a one on one you can slightly call the keeper out with triangle and rush them into making an error. When calling the keeper out you have to be aware and ready though for any early balls. There you can see there was an early ball going in but I knew it was going through so I was ready to call the keeper out and he was able to make the same. Likewise in this clip the early ball is very clear so I'm going to rush the keeper out and I'm going to rush them into taking that hard shot in which they sky the ball. And so the key is when you're using the goalkeeper you need to be aware of the situation and aware of the danger and always be prepared for what's going to come. There you can see I knew the ball was going to be going into the middle so I preemptively moved the keeper out in there. Likewise here the ball is going to go into the middle I know the danger's there and I'm going to call the keeper out preemptively. And with corner kicks it is quite easy to see where the danger is, usually you just want to go close to one of the attackers or if you're not sure you can just go into the centre of the first box. Here you can see I was kind of messing about but you also have to be aware of them taking shots into the goal from the corner kick so don't move the goalkeeper out too far. Once the corner is taken you see the yellow crosshair pop up, you can hold triangle and call the keeper out and he will collect the ball or punch the ball out into safety. And that's going to be everything I wanted to cover in this video so if this video did help you please remember to leave a like, subscribe and comment otherwise I hope you guys have a great day and bye bye.